Tuesday morning, Nairobi Central Business District, location Accra Road. We make a stop at TSS Sako Bus Terminal. We meet Penina Agira, who was on transit to Busia from Mombasa alongside her children. A visibly dejected Agira is in despair. I came to Mombasa at 12 o'clock in the morning. I was able to get to Nairobi at 9 Sasa kufika hapo gari ilikuwa makabisa walisema gari hawezi hawezi kuendelea na safari. Sasa tumekuwa hapa na watoto, watoto wanaanza kusema la kufanya. Tumekuwa hapa sasa tawama tu tuweze kutusaidia. She is stranded. She has been here since Monday 3 p.m. shortly before President Uhuru Kenyatta announced the ban on travel in and out of Nairobi. The cessation of movement within the Nairobi Agira's troubles are much the same as those of dozens of other Kenyans who are affected by the directive. Kukula kwangu kuna tegemea ibarabara. Kwa zaizi nafanyia naroku. Lakini familia yangu inaishi ya banarobi. And by the way, nilikuja kuwasalimia, niliundi nienda kazi yangu. Sasa nimefungiwa, sijui watakula aje kwa sababu sijaenda. Mimi ndiyo gala. This is a Kra road. On a normal day, this bus terminal has vehicles ferrying passengers to and from Nyeri, Nakuru, Nanyuki, Kerogoya. But since the restriction of movement order came into effect, now the buses that are here at the terminal are ferrying passengers within Nairobi. This situation is replicated in various terminal in the capital where public service vehicles headed for the upcountry normally operate from. The affected public service vehicle operators already are feeling the full weight of this directive. Sisi sasa sijui tutafanya nini ndio tupate riziki. Tunaambua kwanza lockdown na kuja hata kabla tufike kwa lockdown. Hizo siku 20 na moja mimi nilimtuambia nifanye kazi leo nipate 200 niende kulisha familia yangu leo. Wametumiwa paza kwa wizi. Chakula ya kukula. Azima tukuje asubuhi tuatolea. Na ile inaendelea na kukuja ndio asiumie. The sentiments resonating well with those of traders operating from these locations. Ninapokuja ninaenda na sabuni naenda nimenunua mboga chakula na pata. Sasa hii nimekuja na kilo mbili ya njugu na kuanga hoka. Sijauza hata mtu mmoja nitauzia nani? Kila mtu ana pesa. Tunategemeanga hao watu wana travel ndio tunawauzia. Yaani maisha yetu imekuwa mwisho. Mtu aliregister huduma namba the story is different for those in food supplies and other cargo as their businesses went on as usual. But truck drivers claim even though the directive doesn't affect them, authorities still frustrate their activities. These roads are beba, mapasel, mzigo, na chakula. Na kitu kama, hiyo gari mesimua mapali, na mebeba machungwa. Sasa unajua hile joto ya mzigo zingine, hile machungi taaribika pale. Reporting for Channel 1 News, I'm Jackie Wambiru.